What's up guys, hope you're doing well. It's Avery, we are on our way. We're actually in uh, Louisville right now, but we're on our way to our new apartment in New York, which is really exciting. So I wanna bring you guys along. And since we're stopping through Kaylee's hometown in West Virginia in about four more hours, I figured I'd bring you because we vlogged last time we were there when we went to that hor hor horrifying, horrible, beautiful hotel. The American Dream. Today's video is made possible thanks to Squarespace. It's a killer platform to build anything from a portfolio to a web store. So this is all of our stuff. Check it out. It fits in this gorgeous rental minivan. They're here. Still, still in shambles, but I finally got them from my hometown in Missouri where they obviously fit much more well in in Missouri. And then we just have like a bunch of clothes and dishware. And that's it. Blur these guys out until spring summer 19. You got the sliding door. Look at this. You don't need to rent a U-Haul. But now we're gonna go in here. Yeah, we're gonna do some antique shopping. Oh, Angelo! I know she's going tomorrow to Mitch's family's house. Gorgeous nesting tables, but of course they have nesting table prices too. Ghost chairs. Let's look at these two. That table right there would be cute in the kitchen, although it wouldn't fit ours. This little side table. This lovely piece is from... Did you get both of them? No, I just got this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man. Oh, no, I gave up desserts. <laughs> I don't need sweets. I don't need sweets anymore. <laughs> Kaylee can vouch for me, right? <laughs> last night in West Virginia. It's 6 a.m. Moving day. We have to go pick up her car and to Charleston for a bit. We're excited. We're about packed up. Are you guys ready to see speeding bullet number two, aka the great white shark? Look at his beauty. We originally rented a minivan, which we didn't even do the first leg, and they didn't have any. They wanted to give us a RAV4, which probably wouldn't have worked. So we ended up with this beauty for a fraction of the price, an actual utility vehicle, a bit of furniture that we got here in West Virginia I'll show you later, and we're also going to pick up another piece on the way. All right, ladies, gotta click away from the video now. 
you're packing up. Dark breaking buzz, crowd going stone like paying the sun. We are on our second eight and a half or so hour leg of our trip from Missouri to New York. Our lease actually started a few days ago on November 15th. And it just worked out really well because Kaylee's hometown was like a two hour extra drive, which isn't bad at all. So right now we're actually in Maryland, almost halfway to New York. And yeah, in Charleston, we did some furniture shopping, yes. went to some antique stores, of course, Goodwill too, and hit all of the vegan option spots, of course. Especially around Thanksgiving, it can be kind of hard. But it's super pretty. You should see these hills are driving through now. And I'm really excited to update you once we finally get to the apartment. He's like a zombie center. Like, I, I like what, what are you doing there? You don't seem to want to be there. Speakership after a year or two years, whatever it may be. Right on top of the Stotts blood samples. <laughs> oh, what are you guys wondering? It's day two of the move-in process. We got in last night at about 11 and carried everything up easily. Look at this light. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And carried everything up, not too bad. Mike helped out, love ya. And that was really it. We had to take the car back to JFK and then wait around out in the cold for our Uber and get back here and we did a little unboxing last night, reorganizing whatever, but today we're doing the deep clean. We're laying out our stuff. I don't know if you can see it. And most stuff that we're also very excited about is coming Monday. The books are all out and our chair's out. Kaylee's out. right? So we're doing good. We want to go plant shopping and do all of the errands as far as like cleaning supplies and all of that goes. But for being noon the next day, not too bad. We definitely need to eat though. I should have filmed way more of us cleaning and whatever else. Oh, did I show you guys this table? I don't know, I'll tell you in a second. But honestly, I just feel like absolute shit. Probably from the 10 hour drive and the moving and the no sleep. But you know what? We're kicking and it's like too exciting not to still feel kind of okay. But this is a little side table that we grabbed in Charleston, West Virginia at a little furniture store there that we didn't know about, but we came across. They had a lot of mid-century modern items. This one in particular is from American of Martinsville, which very much has a mid-century modern Danish look, if anything, from the legs and that gorgeous wood. They love to do this with the brass X inlay right there, which is really pretty. And I think that goes well with our style because it's this traditional, beautiful little table. And then a bit industrial. But this should be really pretty next to our couch. If anything, the color might be too similar to the floor, but maybe it'll look good once we get the little love seat in and the credenza and the TV and whatever else. The other item that we got, of course, you guys saw last night, this absolute unit over here, which is of course Marcel Brewer's Vasily chair. 
had to kick off our starter pack of interior design and what better way to do it. <laughs> At first I wanted possibly like an LC2, but Le Corbusier is a little bit questionable. So I'm glad we went with this and we thought about getting a pair, but it's pretty wide and gorgeous. I've never seen one in person, of course, being from Missouri and Indiana, but um, so, so, so pretty unbelievably happy with it. This was on the way perfectly from New Jersey. Oh, from West Virginia in New Jersey, perfectly on the way from West Virginia to New York City. And it was very inexpensive because it's a little worn and it was out in Jersey. So who knows, they probably got it from an estate sale. There's a little bit of that, oh, way overexposed. There's a little bit of that orange coming through underneath the dye of this leather. And it's so gorgeous. I'm honestly really glad that it has it. You can see a little bit right there. But really, it looks way better than the pictures we saw online. And look how pretty that is! Mm. Got our new linen sheets. They're Ecotext certified, which is a fabric certification that we work with for Stotts Bellet. I think Avery is wearing one of them right now. Our sweatpants fabric, which yeah. these are a bit dirty. What? No, they're perfect. But those are Ecotex certified. So I was excited to find some sheets that were as well. Day two here in this apartment, or I guess night two, sort of our first day here, and I'm about to crash in our air mattress for now. I am so tired still, I'm not catching up, and we're sleeping sort of just with like two sheets, and it's frigid out, and we've got this big window, which is a blessing and a curse, so I'm hoping for some better sleep tonight. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> We're about to head out because of course, while we're trying to move into this new place, make it our home, so many errands to run. I'm sure you guys know the deal, but I wanna give you a quick run around and show you what we were up to yesterday, what we grabbed, but I'll keep the full on tour for another video, but that is the plan. The blow up mattress, but queen size mattress. If you guys wanna come stay with us, queen size is waiting on you. That's the view from this bedroom. I should tell you guys about that hand, but maybe I'll save that. Quick kitchen clip. Ooh, the lighting is so nice that it's blown out. But there's a little succulent we got. Beautiful green and yellow. The pots were the hardest part, but you can't really tell, but I was really happy with the color of this one. It doesn't have any rim. Really simple, and it makes this wood, which can be kind of tacky. I don't know if that's the best word. I feel like the colors aren't true right now either. There you go, that's pretty. But I feel like that brings it down to earth. Just need a little bit better lighting. That's pretty true. Skipping over the two other bedrooms. Now we have another plant on top. Classic pot on that one and some totem candles that Kaylee got. But it's still very bare and very echoey in here. But hopefully that'll change. Then we got that plant down there which I'll show you the roots, it's gorgeous. It looks diseased as ever. That's of course the Basili chair and our books <laughs> until we get a case for them or find a better home is like a makeshift side table, I guess. We need to go through what I have for you guys. And then this is a lamp that we got from Home Union. Great little shop in Brooklyn. Kaylee and I went in to look at this classic Arco lamp that we were really interested in, but it ended up being huge. It seemed like it would be the only statement piece in this room and be way too big. And also just the marble, this is way too much info, but the marble footing on the other one was too preppy, too bubbly. Whereas this, it has this huge cast iron foot with this beautiful stamp underneath. 
but I'm so happy with this. It usually, I feel like I've seen photos where it's in super minimal, just plain modern futuristic for the 1980s spaces. And honestly, I don't like it at all, but we saw it in store, which I'm really happy about. And I feel like that makes it a perfect fit for us because in person we could really tell. So that's a little reading light. I should show you at night because it has this beautiful, beautiful ambient dim. And there you go, look at the sun. It's like 55 out today. So we're actually very excited to run errands. We would be excited even if it was raining though. Welcome to Kaylee and Avery's Breaking in the Kitchen cooking show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the recipe. Over here on this back little simmer burner, we got a little black lentil going on with a little tilted lid. Then over here, chopping up some sweet potatoes. This was three that Keely's grandfather got for us from North Carolina. So sweet. I'm gonna show you how we season these because these are just diced up all crazy like to uh, make a little hash, a little olive oil, some salt, naturally, a little black pepper. And normally we love paprika on here, but it doesn't seem like it made it in the move. So we're doing a little, little crushed red, a little minced garlic. Whoa, mince that all up. Woo, and toss it in here. And you know, don't be afraid to get in there yourself, get all dirty. Give those potatoes a good loving massage. Let them know that you care for them and you're gonna give them a good, a good digestion. And you're really gonna put all of those nutrients that they've been working so hard to make to good use, you know? But I think I might, whoa, danger. I think I might add a little more seasoning. Look at those buttes. Spread them out. Pop those boys right on in the oven. While everything's baking, you gotta start cleaning up. That way you can really enjoy your meal. Look at this guy. Isn't that just so sexy? Look at all those plants. Compost. Even when you're in a major city, like we have a little compost pickup area just two blocks down. It's so easy. So get a little, get a little metal bin. Toss your banana peels in there. It's too full you know the deal. Bones. This is how it goes down when you don't have a peeler in the house. Got our leaves down, gave them a little massage to break them down. Look at those, steeping hot still. Potatoes are still cooking. Tossed everything in the bowl, a little raw action, some cooked stuff. And then we have a little dressing here that's just olive oil, pepper, garlic, lemon. A little, a little black pepper, garlic, lemon dressing. We'll mainly put it on the leaves here, but we'll pretty much mix everything up. Once we're ready to chow down. Sweet potato, avocado combo. Mmm. as you put it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Good morning, you guys. This is the end of our moving vlog from Missouri to West Virginia to here in New York. All chopped up, concisely put together. You can still, we still have a little work to do. Here's a filing cabinet down here that Kaylee found for 10 bucks. That was a good scavenge. And we're just waiting on some things like a little love seat action, a table, it's getting refinished. As far as anything such as a media console for the TV that isn't really 100% necessary, we're trying to be a lot more patient with. But we definitely need, need a table to work at because the last few days we've been crisscross on the floor like a spider after it dies. That's what I feel like right now. But it's going really good. We love the neighborhood. We love this space. Just all around thumbs up and I'm excited to share with you guys I definitely will 
the final product once everything's put together so you guys have a better idea of the layout and how we're using the space with the third bedroom being an office space for Stotzballets and whatever. And I'm really excited to get an actual permanent backdrop for YouTube videos. So that's really cool. That's it. Until next time, everyone do us one last favor and have a good day. Take care. And thanks again to today's sponsor, Squarespace, for making this possible. Head over there. There'll be a link down below in the description if you guys want 10% off your Squarespace site. It's killer for blogs, portfolios, web stores. You can see my site that's on Squarespace down below too. If you need some inspo, definitely go head their way if you're looking to build one. And that's it. So take care, guys. Peace. All that.